welcome back to another Dollar Tree Haul with me, Margo. If you are new here to this channel, my name is Margo. I am centrally located in Connecticut. I've been on YouTube now since January, so the beginning of this year. I really enjoy doing this. Um, most of my contents are Dollar Tree Hauls, some Aldi Hauls, and some vlogging. I was watching Confessions of a Dollar Tree um, Attic, Marina, and she is doing a collab. She did not mention my channel, and that's okay, but she did say it was okay for new YouTubers to do this collab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a $10 gift card to Dollar Tree. That's my giveaway. And what you have to do in the description box, well, first of all, you have to be a subscriber, um, live in the U.S., be 18 and older, and also in the comments, please put in hashtag empowered women, empower women. And I will give you until September 9th to enter this contest. All right, so let's get going with this Dollar Tree haul. I'm gonna start off with the food and drink. I did get this. It's the, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it, Muir Glen Organic Crushed Tomato with Basil, and it's a 28 ounce. So $1.25 is really a good price for that. And here are the nutritional facts. I was watching someone who hauled us. I'm sorry, I can't quite remember who it was. But they were saying chili season's coming up. And I'm like, ooh, that's true. So, thank you. We needed some spring water. So, I picked up this six-pack of the Crystal Geyser. I like this. And $1.25 is probably around average for a um, six-pack of water. I've been trying to use my oh right here this water container actually filling it with ice and water and it's a 24 ounce so i figured if i drink three of these a day i'm good all right another thing i picked up is this um chicken flavored instant lunch these ramen noodle soups and it's a three pack and i bet you a dollar 25 is a little bit expensive for this i'm not 100 percent positive but those are the nutritional facts on those. My son and husband do like these more in the winter time if, you know, they just want like a soup or something. They'll eat it. Um, I did find these. I was very happy to find these. They're Kinder's Mains. This one is Street Taco Bowl with lime and garlic rice. And I believe what you will need is um, this box, one pound of ground beef, one and three quarter cup of water, and it says optional topping, cheese, salsa, sour cream, guacamole. That actually looks really good. So I did get two of these. Let's see what the other one is. The... Um, okay, maybe I didn't. Okay, maybe I got one of these. <laughs> I thought I had gotten two. I did get two of these, the fajita rice bowl with Mexican rice. That looks good, too. And what are the serve? These are, these serve four. Um, so what you would need is a pound of ground beef. This package, the same, is a one and three quarter cup of water. Optional toppings, peppers, onions, cheese, sour cream, guacamole. And the best buy dates on these are July 22nd, 2023. And this one's a 6.7 ounce. Award-winning flavor for over 70 years. All right. Handcrafted by people obsessed with quality. Nice. So we'll give those a go. Like I said, I got two of those ones. I thought I picked up two of the taco, but apparently not. And then I found these Italian Chop House Meatballs Master Butcher. And this is a 3.9 ounce. This makes four servings. Just add meat and eggs. 
And as a matter of fact, we are having meatball grinders tonight, so I will try these. This is uh, one pound of ground beef and two eggs. I did buy two boxes, so we'll give those a try. And same with these Nor Spanish rice and the, um, what's this other one? Here's the chicken flavored rice. These are typically $1, 125 where you go, but wherever you go, actually. And this one is the Spanish rice. And then I picked up the rice and pasta blend in savory chicken flavored sauce. All right, I think that is it for food and drinks. Um, I did get this cherry pie sign. I'm also looking for the pumpkin pie. Because of those decors that I bought for work, I put the um, tumbling blocks on the back. And so I want to display, it was a cherry, a slice of cherry pie and a slice of pumpkin pie. So I want to put these next to them. Okay, so now we will get into some Halloween stuff. Um, these decorative bones, there's two pieces in each. And this is, I don't know, eight inches maybe? Does it say on here? No, it does not. But you get two pieces in here. And I am not even sure if I'm going to use these for Halloween I actually may use these on a craft. I was thinking about this. This would be really cute for a little dog decor. So I'm going to see what I come up with. But I did buy four of these. And even if I do use them in a Halloween display, as long as I don't glue them on something, then I could reuse them again on a, on a craft. My sister had asked me to pick this up if I had seen it, so I did, and I picked it up for her. This is pretty heavy. It's like cement, I guess. I'm not sure. It's pretty heavy, though. It's cute. I hadn't seen this one last year. I don't remember seeing it, so. And my sister also wanted this sign, so I picked this one up for her. We always send each other our wish lists. I mean, a lot of times we're shopping together anyways, but there's, you know, those few times that we're not shopping together, so. We even send it to my sister in Florida. <laughs> All right, and then I bought these. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna spray paint these, but I bought round black candles, and I wanna put them in here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it this way, or this way. I, I'll see once, I don't know, once I start putting things together which way I want to put it. But I did purchase two of these. And I did get these napkins. Right, These are gorgeous. These are so nice. I want to actually try to decoupage with these. But I really, really like, like, I'm going to probably just go around the bottle and the bird. See what I come up with. But these are 13 by 13 when they're wide open. And it's a 24 uh, piece pack. They also have the plates to go with these. I think I might have, they might be my next haul. And then I picked up these. Um, these are 18 luncheon napkins. I like the pattern. So I got those. I was really excited, although I'm not a sewer. Um, I do have people in my family that sew, so if you people want these, let me know. <laughs> so I, I'm going to actually ask my sister and my mom. Those are the two sewers in my family. But anyways, these are the Simplicity Tote Sewing Project. These are patterns, and this one is for the tote bag. So I'll see if my mom or my sister want these. I'm pretty sure my sister at one point was looking for these. I had never seen, I've seen people hauling these a while back, but I'd never seen them in the store till, till now. This one is for the bear. So, so cute. There's two different ones in the back, but it's the same pattern. And the tote bag, same thing. There's two different ones in the back. These are really cute. And then there's the apron, Easy Apron Sewing Project. So there's this one and these in the back. Very cute, very cute. 
I picked up a couple of t-shirts. Surprise, surprise. Um, these ones are for my little, little niece. So this one's a long sleeve. And then this one is for her as well. So, two long sleeve. School starts, or school has started. So, um, I'm sure... I'm sure they'll be using their clothes for that. So anyways, um, I also found these for my niece. I don't know if she's going to want these or not, but maybe to uh, display on a table. I'll ask her if she wants them. And here's the purple one. And then, oh, well, there is more food. My goodness, I forgot about this right here. Well, this is a repurchase. Guys, these are so so good. I love Sriracha Spice. Um, it's not really like hot, hot. It does have a nice spice to it. They had the original and I didn't try the originals, but these, oh, love them. And this whole bag is only 100 calories. And it says 25% less fat than potato chips. It does have 13 grams of carbohydrates, but... And these are good till June 24, 2023. Um, I did buy more Halloween candy, so um, the parents are going to kill me. <laughs> but this is the Boobling. Very cute. It's like it has the, the bracelets and the rings. There's a 16 count, and this is 3.9 ounces. And here are the nutritional facts. I remember these necklaces when I was younger. I loved those necklaces and the um, paper dots. Who remembers those? Guys, in the comments, write down, or actually put in the comments, your favorite Halloween candy. All right, and then I did get this. It's Fluffy Stuff Spiderweb Cotton Candy. And these are good until um, January 24, 2023. Does it have the flavor? Oh, sour apple. <laughs> so I did get these to put in the kids' buckets. And I, these are adorable. I saw Callan from Crazy Days of Callan hauling these, and I was so excited to find them. These are the mummy buckets. They're metal, too. They're so cute. It's a three-pack. They had three different ones. There's the mummy. There's Frankenstein. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with these yet. And then, oh, here's another um, cotton candy. And here is the pumpkins. These are adorable. In the wedding section, they sell these little buckets, but they're all um, white. They're solid white. So if you want to put anything on there with your Cricut, that's where they have them in the bridal section, in my stores anyways. And then I found this. I've seen people hauling these, these little syringes, and I think it's a party favor. I think it's meant for like some kind of liquids to drink, um, Kool-Aid for the kids and maybe alcohol for the adults. But I thought that maybe we can use this for something else. If you use a epoxy, um, maybe you can use these and medicine for your animal if it's a liquid medicine maybe this one might be easier to give it to them but anyways there's different ideas i don't think i'm going to be putting liquids in it to drink but anyways it's a four piece and i will be putting it you know with stuff that someday i might need um this is another thing for halloween it is the big chew nerds soft and chewy inside there is grape, lemon, strawberry, and orange. And these ones are Best Buy July 2023. And here's the nutritional facts on those. 
I saw somebody hauling these buckets and I was so, I think it was Pookie from Pookie's View. I was so excited. I'm like, I need to get them. So I, there's three different colors. There's orange, there's purple, and there's black. And I did only pick up the orange and the purple, but I did get three of each color. These are pretty big. So, so cute. I could fit quite a bit in there. Let me put the, um, there's a lot of room in here, definitely. Okay, like I said, I got three of the orange and then three of the purple. I think the orange is my favorite. Here's all the characters on here. There's pumpkins, ghosts, bats, spiders, candy corn, jack-o'-lantern. Very, very cute. Does it say the size on here? No, it does not. But anyways, I really like these buckets, so I'll set these up for the kids. And then the last few items that I picked up are books. This one is for uh, one of my nieces. It's for letter or worse. And it is a little chapter book. And this one was $7.99 outside of Dollar Tree. It is a soft cover. Then I found these um, Harry Potter Wizard Unite official, official game guide includes magical secret for the developers and this is what this one looks like it's by scholastic and the price outside of dollar tree was 9.99 and i picked up two of these i have a lot of harry potter uh, fans in my family then these last two books I got for my mom. This one is Virginia Wise, What the Heart Wants, an Amish New World Romance. Love is the Sweetest Adventure. And it's a soft cover. She told me the other day she already went through two of her books, I think. She said she had one left. Then this one outside of Dollar Tree sold for $8.99. It's a pretty cover and then this one is national best-selling author Kelly Long Kelly understands the human heart and writes about it with beauty and re resonance resonance that's terrible sorry uh, marrying Matthew the Amish mail order grooms first in new series and again, this one was $8.99 outside of Dollar Tree. Again, soft cover. So I'll be sending those out to my mom. All right, so that is it for this haul. And let me give you some prices. So what I paid was $66.25, and that is before tax, so $66.25. Had I gone to Walmart, Target, Amazon, or pretty much anywhere outside of Dollar Tree, it would have been approximately $167.99. And that's a huge difference of $101.74. And again, that's why I love Dollar Tree. All right, guys, so uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and put in the comments for the giveaway. And also, please don't forget to tell me what is your favorite Halloween candy. All right, guys. Until next time. Love you. Bye.